Good morning, children. You are a beautiful flower garden. I just love to see this. How many of you know that you have a guardian angel that is with you at all times? My mom told me that I had a guardian angel from the time I was able to walk. Before, before that, even just learning how to talk, she would tell me I had a guardian angel. So I always knew that I did, and I never questioned her. And I had a picture on my wall, like this one. Can you see this picture? It was an angel overlooking a child, and the one that was on my wall, the little girl, was on a bridge. Isn't that beautiful? Never doubted that I had an art, a guardian angel. And I used to talk to my guardian angel when I was little. We would play, because I didn't have any playmates that lived close to me, so I played with my guardian angel a lot. When my kids were little, I imagined all the angels. I don't know how they fit, because I've always had a very small house. But my kids have their own guardian angels. They've grown, they've moved away, and sometimes when I go visit my daughter, maybe in Southern California, I imagine my angel hooking up with her angel. They haven't been together in so long. That's just what goes through this mind, okay? Now you know. I want to read you a story about another little boy who loved that same picture that I just showed you. This is called Angel in the Snow. And I'm sorry, Pastor Cerns, if we go a little late, but children are so precious. <laughs> Angel in the snow. There's another picture of an angel. Gaston Paulin, a French Canadian who pastors in Tennessee, tells of a time in his childhood. He had a large painting of an angel over, a chi over children in his room that he loved. It was his favorite. A few weeks, he always believed that his angel was with him. He had received a bright, Christ, a bright red shovel for Christmas. How many of you got a bright red shovel for Christmas? Not here. No. No, that's not something that we treasure here. You know what his shovel was for? Snow. He could not wait to shovel in the snow. And there was no snow yet. But Christmas break wasn't over. So he prayed for snow. And guess what? One night it came. He was able to use his shovel in the snow. He got up for breakfast and he put on his snow boots and he put on his jacket and he took his shovel and he went outside. Now there was a rule in his house. Don't leave the yard. That was his only rule. And he knew that his mom would come and get him at lunchtime. So he had all morning to play in the snow. The the snow plow had just gone by, and it piled up big snow right at his yard's edge. So he was able to dig in the snow. Now, he was about 10 years old. Any of you about 10? Can you stand up and show us how tall a 10-year-old is? Okay, this is how tall a 10-year-old is. He dug a tunnel that he could walk into. Can you imagine? That might make you kind of hot and sweaty, right? Lots of hard work shoveling snow. He walked into his tunnel and he was exhausted, so he laid down and fell asleep. Yeah. He was sound asleep and dreaming when he heard a voice say, Guess John, wake up and get out. And he was so sleepy and kind of lost, not remembering where he was, and then he remembered the snow and his shovel was here, and he curled right back up and fell asleep. And he doesn't remember how long he was sleeping, but again he heard even more earnest a voice say, Guess John, get up, get out. So he did what the voice said. He took his shovel, he left that cave, and guess what? He saw just one house down the street, a snow grinder and a dump truck. 
They were taking that big pile of snow and they were grinding it up and hauling it off. And he was in that snow cave. And he knows that only his angel could have been the one to wake his, him up. His mama didn't know where he was. There were no neighbors outside playing. The only person that knew he was in there was Jesus. And the only one that could warn him about the trouble was his angel. That's a good angel story to remember. You might hear a voice that tells you suddenly to do something very important. It's a good thing to listen to that voice. You guys can go back to your seats. 